so the question now is so we will be trying to make some equations so let's see what is that so the topic is making equations so basically you are given some numbers so let's say you are given n numbers and in this example let's say you are given 2 3 5 1 and 1 okay so there are n minus 1 numbers on the left hand side and one number on the right hand side so now you have to fill in the blanks there the yellow ones so that you can fill it with plus or minus and then finally you have to make that left expression equal to the right one so let's see so this is 2 3 5 and 1 so if we do write a plus here a minus here in between 3 and 5 and plus between 5 and 1 so it becomes 2 plus 3 5 minus 5 is 0 plus 1 so it becomes 1 so if we fill with plus minus and plus so we get left hand side so this becomes LHS is equal to the RHS so we have to fill those so there are n minus 2 blank spaces which you have to fill with either plus or minus sign and make the left hand side equal to the right hand side so this question is called the problem is called making equations okay so now let's see so given n number so we define this problem so given n numbers x1 x2 x3 till xn minus 1 and xn so find in how many ways we can use the addition and subtraction symbols to satisfy x1 plus minus x2 plus minus x3 plus minus xn is equal to xn minus 1 is equal to xn so we have to fill this blanks with plus or minus sign and make the left hand side equal to the right hand side so another example if we take so 1 2 3 4 5 and 10 so if i do 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 minus 5 so this becomes 4 3 7 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 1 10 10 minus 5 is so 5 so this becomes a 5 so here if you have kept a 5 so this answer was 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is 6 plus 4 10 minus 5 it is 5 so we have to find something like this if it is possible and we have to give the ways and the count for it so we can solve this problem by using backtracking okay so this is one of the ways of solving this problem so here basically we see we have xn minus 1 n minus 1 numbers so we have n minus 2 blanks and we can fill them with 2 to the power of n minus 2 ways okay so we have to check all these ways using backtracking okay so of course this is uh, complexity is high we are checking all the 2 to the power of n minus 2 possibilities but it will be an exhaustive search and it will give us all the various ways in which the LHS can become equal to the RHS so we will use backtracking and let's see the code so what we will basically be doing is that we will be filling out these positions with plus and minus signs okay so let's see first we will keep a plus then a plus here something like this and then minus okay we will try both so let's see the code so what I define so we get something like I define a symbol character symbol where I will store the plus and minus signs for whatever I have used in the expression and how we do backtracking so I get a result function so it finds the result if left hand side is equal to the right hand side so let's see so what happens here is I pass the in uh, the numbers itself x1 x2 x3 till xn minus 1 and xn k is the depth or the level which we have till now tried out and int n the total number of numbers that are given and r which is the result that we have calculated 
so i write int temp is equal to r so i make a copy of r which is the result we have found so far after calculating the first k numbers okay then what we say there should always be a base case for recursion so it's here if k is equal to n so i have tried put all the symbols in between the x and n minus 1 numbers and now i want to check when the nth number has come so i want to check if my result is equal to the an the last number and if my result is equal to the last number i can print the equation k which we will see so it will print all the numbers and the symbol in between which gave us the result equal to the last number otherwise we just return it was a not a good case else what we do so we are still in the making we are putting some symbols trying out symbols between the n minus 1 numbers so what i do first i try out by putting so i had some result so i make result is equal to result plus ak so next i put ak so i add the kth number to the result so we had al already calculated something and now the kth element i add to it and then what happens i add it and i put symbol k is equal to plus okay so this symbol is a global array so now we call result a k plus 1 n comma r so this means what now i have filled the till the kth symbol i have filled i have found the result till the kth numbers and i call to calculate the result for the k plus 1th number okay so this is the first thing it will try to calculate if i chose plus here but i can also choose a minus so what happens after doing this function calculating it will come back here so why i use a temp now because r will be changed r is r plus ak which i don't want i want actual r that was fast passed to this function which is temp so temp is also a real copy of the result that the argument result that was passed to it so temp is equal to temp minus ak i do so this means here i am subtracting the kth element and now i pass to see if this decision gives me some correct result so i call it with a k plus 1 n and r so this way what happens is we try and finally we say that when we have checked with all the numbers when k is equal to n so we have come to the end we check if result is equal to n then we print the equation and how we print the equation so i have the k which is the n minus 1 here so i go from 2 to k minus 1 and i print the number and the next symbol plus or minus okay so let's see how it works so we saw one example of 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay and let's say answer was also 5 so how it is calculated we will see so what happens is we call initially result so this is x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and x6 okay so there are six numbers so i will initially call result a i will pass this array this is a and then i will pass k initially i will pass 2 and k n is 6 here six numbers are there and result initially it is a1 okay so i will pass a1 equal to 1 okay so this is what i will pass so now what happens i call result a2 6 and 1 so now what happens k is now 2 so this condition is not true we have not come to the end so i do r is equal initially i will see r is equal to r plus ak it means what i am adding now result with the second element so it will be now i will again call result and a now i will call it k plus 1 3 and this will be 6 n and r will be now r is because we had added r plus a of 2 so it is a2 is 2 here so it becomes a 
and here we had used what a plus symbol okay so this is plus now what happens again I when I call this one so it goes here result a 3 6 and 3 so now again this k is not equal to 6 and it comes here r is equal to r plus a k so I am initially trying out the first plus sign so here it becomes result is 3 plus a of 3 which is 3 plus 3 is 6 it becomes now and what I do so I call result a k plus 1 n r so it becomes plus again and result a so now this is 3 plus 3 it became 6 6 comma so this one is 4 basically we go to the fourth level so we will write here a 4 6 comma result is also now 6 and I have used a plus so next again I go and k is not equal to n so again I add and it will become result so it is a k is now 5 and this is n is 6 and 6 plus 4 it has become 10 okay so this was with a plus sign and now what happens is again I'm calling result a 5 6 and 10 so k is equal to 5 so now it is also not equal to 6 I come here again r is equal to r plus a k I do so what happens so it becomes plus again if I do it becomes result a and k now becomes 6 and this n is 6 and this becomes a 15 okay so now k and n both are 6 I come here but I see that k is equal to n but result which is 15 is not equal to a6 which is a6 is for our case it was a6 is 5 so this is not true so I just return back and where do I return so I return to this place so here the result was 10 and now what happens I was at this place okay so now I come to this point and I call temp was here the result was result was result was now what result is 10 okay so result is 10 and now I make temp is equal to temp minus a k so which is a of 5 so now from 10 I subtract 5 so here this one is cancelled now this one goes away and let's see what we have here so we see that we have 10 and we subtracted here result temp is equal to temp minus a k where temp was equal to r so it becomes now result a k is 6 n is 6 and r becomes 5 and there was a subtraction here so we see now that it goes there 6 k is equal to 6 and r is 10 is equal to is equal to 5 and this is equal to a of 6 which is 5 and then what we see so we print the equation so we come here and we print this symbol so it will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 minus 5 this will be the answer okay so this way it proceeds and we see here so we have given the backtracking result now we can move faster so initially that's what we did 1 plus 2 plus 3 so initially I put all the plus because plus was earlier given in the code so but it is 15 so we backtracked here so we backtrack to this one bt so this became 5 4 minus 5 because plus we had already used it came back using recursion and minus 5 was given so 5 so now but our answer is 1 so if it was 5 it was correct but it is 1 so we now try what minus 5 also so we have tried out all these places and we came here to plus 4 so now instead of plus I write a minus here and then try the next level with a plus so this becomes a 7 which is not equal to 1 then I try what minus is there so plus instead of plus 5 I try minus 5 
this becomes a minus 3 which is not equal to 1 so I have tried so this place it is exhaustively searched so now it backtracks to 3 and here I put a minus instead of plus and again plus 4 plus 5 so this is 9 it doesn't work so minus 3 and then instead of plus 4 I have minus 4 plus 5 so it this result is 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 3 is 0 minus 4 is minus 4 plus 5 is 1 so here I get one result so this way we see that it gives us the equation LHS is equal to RHS so it tries out even further and tries out all the possible 2 to the power of 4 equations which is 16 ways it will try out and it will give out you the all the possible equations that are getting satisfied so I hope you understand this problem of making equations making left hand side equal to the right hand side using plus and minus and I hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video among your friends thanks a lot